In this lesson, we are going to study parabolas and their graphs. What is a parabola? A parabola is the collection of all points P in the plane that are the same distance D from a fixed point F as they are from a fixed line D. For a parabola, we start with a fixed point, which you call your focus, and a fixed line, which we call your directrix. What is this definition saying? This is saying that if I get a point on your parabola, the distance of this point from the focus, that is the length of this line segment, should be the same as the distance of the point from your line. If we get another point, this length should be the same as this length, and so on. Let us discuss the parts of a parabola. The line through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix is called the axis of symmetry. So in this case, this is your axis of symmetry. The point of intersection of the parabola with its axis of symmetry is called the vertex. This is now your vertex V. In the line segment, passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis of symmetry, that is this line segment over here, you call this your latus rectum. Let us consider a parabola whose vertex occurs at the origin. By definition, the distance of this point from the focus should be the same as the distance of this point to the directrix. Let us suppose that F is A units above your vertex. That means that this distance also is equal to A because this is the distance of the point from the directrix. So if this is the case, our focus will appear at 0A and your directrix is Y equals negative A. This is the case when A is positive. What will happen if your A is negative? So in this case, my vertex still occurs at the origin. And take a look at this one. Your A is negative. It's below your origin. Still, this is the point 0A. That is my focus. And what is my directrix? This is equal to absolute value of A. And what is the equation of this line? This is Y is equal to negative A. Remember here that A is negative. So negative A is positive. In both cases, the focus of your parabolas will always occur at the point 0A. And the equation of your directrix is y is equal to negative a. Here is the equation of a parabola with vertex at 0, 0, focus at 0, a, and directrix y equals negative a. The equation is x squared is equal to 4ay. You have a parabola opening upwards if your a is positive, and the parabola is opening downwards if your a is negative. Let us now consider this case. Here, the vertex still occurs at the origin, except that the only difference is that the parabola is sort of sideways. Here, it's opening to the right, and here, it's opening to the left. We will still make use of the notation that the distance of your vertex from your focus is A units. A is positive. What is now your focus here? Since you are on the x-axis, this is the point A0. And what is the equation of your directrix? This line is also A units away from the vertex. So therefore, what is the equation of this line? The equation of this line is x equals negative A. Let us consider the case when the parabola is opening to the left. The focus here is A units to the left of the vertex. And this is still the point A0. But here A is 
negative. The directrix is also of the same distance from the vertex. So therefore, this is the line x is equal to negative a. Remember that a here is negative, so therefore negative a here is positive. In such a case, the equation of your parabola is given by y squared is equal to 4ax. How do we determine whether our parabola is opening sidewards or upwards or downwards? All you have to do is to look at the variable whose exponent is equal to 1. So in this case, the exponent of x is 1. So that means that the axis of symmetry is along the x-axis. So hence, your parabola is opening sidewards. If you compare it with this one, the variable with exponent 1 is y, so therefore the axis of symmetry is along the y-axis. What is the length of the latus rectum of a parabola? Let us recall that the latus rectum is the line segment which is perpendicular to your axis of symmetry and it passes through your focus. So hence, that is this line segment. Now, the vertex is A units away from the focus. So therefore, this length here is also equal to A. However, this is also equal to A. The vertex is also A units away from the directrix. Therefore, this is also equal to A. What have we shown here? Therefore, this length here is equal to 2A. But what is this? This is now the distance of this point from your directrix. But by our definition of parabola, the distance of this point from the focus should also be equal to 2a. Therefore, we have shown that the endpoints of your latus rectum are both 2a units away from your focus and the length of the latus rectum is equal to 4a. My assumption here is that a is positive. In general, the length of the latus rectum of a parabola is equal to 4 times the absolute value of A. We have the absolute value here because A can be negative. And since we are referring to length, we always want that value to be positive. Let us sketch the graph of x squared equals negative 12y and let us identify and label the focus directrix and endpoints of the latus rectum. The first thing that you have to do is to find your A. Our formula is x squared equals 4ay. This means that negative 12 is equal to 4a. Hence, our A is equal to negative 3. Next, we want to know whether it's a vertical parabola or a horizontal parabola. And how do we determine that? Let us look at the variable with exponent of 1. In this case, that is our y. It means that the axis of symmetry is your y-axis. Hence, your parabola is a vertical parabola. It's either going up or going down. How do we determine which one is it? You just have to look at your a. Your a here is negative. So therefore, it's this one it's opening downwards we are now ready to sketch the graph of our parabola the vertex is at the origin your parabola is opening downwards because your a is negative so this is negative three and what is this point this is our focus and this is the point zero negative three what is our directrix we just go 3 units above our vertex, so this is y equals 3. You know that the parabola will look something like this. So we already have our focus, our directrix, and we just need the endpoints of the latus rectum. Recall that the latus rectum is 2 times the absolute value of a. 
So in this case, we have 2 times 3, so that this is 6 and this is 6 as well. Therefore, the x-coordinate is negative 6 and 6. Our y-coordinate is negative 3. The first endpoint is negative 6, negative 3. And the second endpoint of our lattice rectum is 6, negative 3. Next, let us sketch the graph of y squared equals 24x. So just like before, we need to find our a. Since our standard equation for y squared is y squared equals 4ax, we get that 4a is equal to 24. Hence, a is equal to 6. Next, what is the opening of our parabola. The variable with exponent 1 is x, so that means our axis of symmetry is along the x-axis. It's sideways, opening either to the right or to the left. But since our a is positive, which one is it? It should be this one. It's opening to the right. Let us sketch our graph vertex is at the origin, your A is 6, and it's opening to the right. So this is our focus. It's 6 units away from the vertex. Our focus is 6, 0. So our parabola is something like that. And our directrix is also 6 units away from the vertex. So this is negative 6. This is the line, x equals negative 6, that is our directrix. Lastly, for our lattice rectum, this length here is equal to 2a. So that is 12 units up and 12 units down. Hence, this is negative 12, and this is 12. The lattice rectum here is 6, 12, and 6, negative 12. Now let us consider the parabolas with vertex at HK. You can just view this parabola as a translation of this graph. How many units? It's h units to the right and k units up. It depends on the sign of h and k. The point is you have h units horizontal translation and you have k units of vertical translation. Therefore, from x squared equals 4ay, this will now become x minus h squared equals 4a times y minus k and your original y squared equals 4ax will now become y minus k squared is equal to 4a times x minus h. So remember that h always goes with x and k always goes with y. Here is what we have just discussed. Let us graph the square of y minus 1 is equal to 16 times quantity x plus 3. To sketch the graph of this one, we will proceed just like before, except that this time around, we have to determine our vertex. First, let us write the equation. This is y minus k squared equals... 4a times x minus h, so that you would be able to identify your h, k, and a. So for number 1, we have to determine our vertex. Our vertex is, your h is negative 3 and your k is equal to 1. Next, we have to identify our a. From here, 16 is equal to 4a, hence a is equal to 4. Next, we have to determine the opening of our parabola. 
Since the variable with exponent 1 is x, it means that the axis of symmetry is parallel to the x-axis. It will no longer be the x-axis because you have some translations here. Is it opening to the left or to the right? It's determined by our a. But since our a is positive, it means that it's opening to the right. Before we proceed in sketching the graph of this one, let us just go back to your parabola with vertex at the origin. These distances will still remain to be true regardless of the vertex of your parabola. Let us now proceed in sketching our graph. Let's start with the vertex. The vertex is at negative 3, 1. So at this point. Next, our A is 4. Look at your parabola here. From the vertex, you go 4 units to the right of your vertex. So where will you end up? You will end up at 1 here. So that is your focus. Your focus is 1, 1. This distance is equal to 4. And your parabola is this one. What is your directrix? Your directrix is 4 units to the left of your vertex. This one is also equal to 4. So hence, this is now negative 7. Our directrix is a vertical line. And this is the line x equals negative 7. What will be your latus rectum? The distance of the latus rectum from your focus is 2 times the absolute value of A. So this is 8 and this is also 8. So what is this? This is the point 1. So 8 units up is 9 and 8 units down is negative 7. Our latus rectum, this one here is 1, 9. And this one here is 1, negative 7. What is the general equation of a parabola? Whenever you ask for the general equation of a curve, it just always means that all the terms will be on one side and one side will always be equal to 0. Let us graph the equation x squared minus 4x plus 8y minus 28 is equal to Zero. Take note that this is the general equation of a parabola, but what kind of parabola is this? The variable with exponent equal to 1 is y, not x, because x has x squared here. So hence, we will expect this form. x minus h squared is equal to 4a times y minus k. We want to write it in this way so that we can determine our a, h, and k. The key in converting from general equation to your vertex form is just like with circles, we use completing the square. Since we want to get this form, let us collect all the terms with x. So we have x squared minus 4x is equal to all the terms with y and the constants on the other side. We have negative 8y plus 28. Let us complete the square. So we get x squared minus 4x. What do we need to add? We add 4 because it's 4 divided by 2 squared. This is equal to negative 8y plus 28. And we also have to add 4 on this side. Hence, the left-hand side is the square of x minus 2. This is negative 8y plus 32. This is what you want to get. What do we need to do? We have to factor out the coefficient of y so that we can get something like this. So this is negative 8 times y minus 4. Our vertex is 2, 4. What is its opening? Because of y here, its axis of symmetry is parallel to the y-axis. So it's up or down. Which one is it? We have to get our a. 4a 
is equal to negative 8, so A is negative 2. So therefore, our parabola is opening downwards. We are now ready to sketch the graph. Our vertex is at 2, 4. And it's opening down. Your focus is absolute value of A, or that's 2 units from the vertex. So this will be 2. This is your focus and this is equal to absolute value of A, which in this case is equal to 2. So therefore, our focus is 2, 2. Your parabola will be something like this. I just... Okay, next, we want to get the directrix. The directrix is 2 units away from the vertex. So therefore, this is 6. This is 2 units away. This is our directrix. What is the equation of that directrix? That is y is equal to 6. Next, for our latus rectum, the lattice rectum is 2 times the absolute value of A units away from the focus. So that's 4. So this is 2 plus 4. This has to be 6. And then 2 minus 4. This has to be negative 2. Our lattice rectum are the points negative 2, 2. And x is 6. And y coordinate is 2, 6, 2. Here are some exercises. Graph the following parabolas and identify, label the focus directrix and endpoints of the lattice rectum.